Well, one in every 88 children in the U.S. are diagnosed with some form of autism, making it more prevalent than juvenile diabetes, pediatric cancer, and childhood AIDS combined. And that is according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. But there is hope. Here in the Valley, thanks to Fresno State, the university is breaking new ground when it comes to children and autism. By offering and having their treatment center has been there for about six years. The center uses high-tech online resources, including a new curriculum to help treat children with autism spectrum disorders. And here to tell us more about it is Dr. Amanda Adams. She is the founding clinical director of the California Central California Autism Center over at Fresno State, and you're also the director there at Fresno State of, of the actual center. Welcome, and thank you for being here. Thank you for having I, um, We get such a huge response anytime we talk about autism. How bad is the problem? And, and, and really, I think a lot of people are, are wondering, doctor, how does one child, well, how does a child even get autism? You know, it's a very complex interaction mm -hmm. that we still are trying to understand. Mm -hmm. Environmental factors, neurological factors, and um, genetic factors are all combining now to cause um, what people are calling an epidemic. Yeah. Now this center, the Central California Autism Center, is located on the campus of Fresno State, is that right? That is right. Okay, yeah. and you've been there for about six years. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit more about the um, uh, Central California Autism Center and all what right. kind of work you do. Well, we started quite small, but now we serve over 40 families and children, mm -hmm. and uh, they attend uh, as if they were coming to preschool at our school. So some are there eight hours a day, five days oh. a week, and um, we provide intensive behavior intervention services based on applied behavior analysis. Mm -hmm. So we have undergraduate students that provide the therapy hours and supervisors are our graduate students at Fresno State. Wow, that's fantastic how you're all working together. Yeah. I love it. And you have a new curriculum is, is what you're calling it, right? Is yes. it a, it's called the skills program. Skills curriculum. Skills mm -hmm. curriculum. Can you tell us a little bit more about that because I'm yes. sure a lot of parents are interested in this and how it helps children with autism. Yeah, it's a, a variation on something that we've been doing for a long time already okay. and um, many other organizations use similar kinds of things still based on the the principles of ABA and the okay. basic teaching philosophy that we used but this new curriculum is um, really incredible in the way that has been developed and put together. So it's mm -hmm. based on developmental norms. So we know that uh, children with autism who are developing differently, you know, not the same skills as those their uh, peer age, um, sometimes have advanced skills in some area areas and not so advanced in other areas. So this curriculum really helps us figure out where the holes are and fill those in. Okay. The teaching method is still very similar, but this is a web-based system. Uh, it has support to the headquarters of the developers, and um, it really does a very good job. It, it's broken down into over 3,000 different uh, fundamental skills that we can teach and make sure that we're filling in all the gaps. Okay, is that why it's called Autism Spectrum? Yes. That's why I never understood that, but there's different levels of autism, obviously. There, yeah, it affects people in different ways, so uh, two people with the same diagnosis can appear very different. Well, we have a, a, a clip that they sent over from the center, um, yes. just kind of giving people an idea, and I think this is just one of the doctors speaking with the student, and right. not necessarily using the, the web technology at this point, but let's go ahead and take a quick listen to this. Do you want more? Yes. Ask me. Um, I. Very nice asking. Okay. So I want. So I. No, you gotta look at me. I want more chips. Good job. Very nice. Does she have any um, ID questions? All right. So this is this is the the program yes. over at the center right now, and the doctor is helping. How many children do you help like this? Well, we have 40 that attend services okay. at our center, but then we also have some outreach programs that serve some others. So how is this program different, this curriculum different than uh, uh, the other programs that you were using in the past? Um, it, it's different in some subtle ways and then some very important ways. Okay. So the basic teaching unit, like what we saw um, Dr. Graham Pache doing on uh, the film there, uh, is very similar. We're, we've been doing that for a long time and we'll continue to do that. But this will guide our progress much more effectively. Mm -hmm. So um, in the past we were pulling from many different sources, mm -hmm. other studies and different developmental tools to try to piece together 
the best steps uh, to move forward in our progression with children. Mm -hmm. And this really puts all of that together for us. We know it's based on research. We know the effort that's gone into creating it. And, uh, and we know uh, how it will be tracked in the future, so what the outcomes we can expect will be using this tool. And you use worksheets, visual aids, tracking forms, as you mentioned, and a lot of videos, lesson videos yes. as well. Yes. Okay, and here's the question. How can people find out more information, and who, what are the requirements to enter the program? Well, uh, the program is uh, unfortunately fairly impacted right now, and that's okay. uh, anytime we get to talk about autism is a good opportunity to spread the word. Mm -hmm. um, they're welcome to call the center, contact Fresno State mm -hmm. and uh, the Autism Center at Fresno State. We also have a, a website that they can find easily enough, okay. Googling. I can leave the information, yes. and uh, we'll, we're happy to put them in touch. Our center right now, unfortunately, is fairly full, mm -hmm. but we are looking for a new home. That's one of the challenges always at Fresno State is finding space, and we're currently in that, uh, in that search ourselves. So um, it's, not too, it's never too early to start the conversation. Um, the earlier, the better with autism. Yes. So if we can um, start uh, educating parents and getting families involved now, then uh, we can either point them in the right direction for services or, or take them in when we can. At what age do you start taking in the children? We prefer to take them before the age of three, oh, okay. by the age of three. And that's very important. Yes. The earlier, as you mentioned, the better. For more information, call the number that you see on your screen. You can also contact the Center for Autism. Go on their website, centerforautism.com. You can find a lot of information there as well. And, um, and maybe people could be placed on a waiting list? Is that, is that how it works? Well, we will connect them to other resources in Got the community it. because we want them to start as fast as possible. But we know, um, we know most of the other uh, providers in the area and are more than happy to make those contacts. We'll, we'll give them all of the best information we can in this area. Right. Well, thank you so much. I know this thank is a you. very important, prevalent topic for many, many, many people. I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. All right.